Google is in trouble again, guys, because of Inflection AI. The creators of the PIAI Personal Assistant announced the creation of a powerful new large language model called Inflection 2 that outperforms Google's Palm language model across a range of benchmarking datasets. What is it good for? And how can it be a true game changer? Let's find out. Before we start the benchmarks battle, let me tell you guys about what Inflection AI is all about. Basically, it is a one year old startup that has garnered support from Microsoft, NVIDIA, and notable investors like Reid Hoffman, Bill Gates, and Eric Schmidt. Led by ex-DeepMind leader Mustafa Suleiman, the company is currently valued at $4 billion. Mustafa is known for his deep AI credentials and his advocacy for an ethically responsible approach to developing new technologies. He has a background in AI research, AI ethics, and AI policy. Suleiman has been involved in leading AI companies and has been an important voice in the artificial intelligence industry, advocating for the ethical development of AI technologies. The company focuses on developing personal AI assistance and has successfully raised $1.3 billion to advance its efforts in this field. The company aspires to create consumer-facing AI products and is recognized as a prominent competitor to OpenAI. Notable products from Inflection AI include the AI Assistant Pi and its large language model Inflection 1, both of which have attracted considerable attention. The the overarching goal of Inflection AI is to establish a personal AI for everyone and differentiate its products through speed and scale. One of their mainstream releases is Pi, which is a personal assistant available on the web and as an app for Android and Apple mobile devices. It can also be added as a contact in WhatsApp and accessed via Facebook and Instagram direct message. Pi was crafted as a chatbot assistant with the capability to respond to inquiries, delve into various topics, such such as products and science, and serve as a conversational companion offering advice. The big update is that after safety testing, the upcoming LLM will be seamlessly integrated into PIAI. Yes, I am talking about Inflection 2. Upon testing, it was determined that this model is better than Google's top model, Palm 2 Large. They tested Inflection 2 against Palm 2 and other models like Meta's Llama 2 on different tasks. In one test on real-world questions, called the Natural Questions Corpus, Palm 2 just slightly beat Inflection. Palm 2 scored 37.5. Five. Inflection 2 scored 37.3 and Llama 2 scored 33. Inflection AI shared these scores on the MMLU dataset, a test that's made to be similar to testing humans. This test covers 57 subjects in STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math and other areas like law. The point of this dataset is to figure out where the language model is really good and where it might not be as strong. In a comparative analysis conducted by Inflection AI, GPT-4, Palm 2, Llama, and Inflection 2 were pitted against each other in tests assessing mathematical and code reasoning abilities. Surprisingly, Inflection 2 performed remarkably well, even though it wasn't explicitly trained for solving mathematical problems. The benchmarking utilized the MBPP, Mostly Basic Python Programming Dataset, encompassing over a thousand Python programming problems sourced from crowds. Notably, the scores stand out as Inflection AI was tested against Palm 2S, a specialized variant fine-tuned specifically for coding. Here are the scores. Llama 2, 70B, managed 45. Palm 2S managed 50. And to everyone's surprise, Inflection 2 clocked at 53.0. Inflection 2 demonstrated superior performance compared to Palm 2 on the human eval problem solving dataset, which consists of 164 programming problems written in Python. These problems include function signatures, doc strings, code bodies, and multiple unit tests. The dataset, crafted by engineers and researchers at OpenAI, was designed to be excluded from the training set of code generation models, ensuring its authenticity. In this test, Llama 2 70B scored 29.9, Palm 2S scored 36.7, Inflection 2 scored 44.5, and GPT-4 managed 67. The announcement from Inflection AI revealed that Inflection 2 underwent training using 5,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. They have ambitious plans to train an even more substantial model on a massive 22,000 GPU cluster, surpassing 
surpassing the scale of the 5000 GPU cluster used for Inflection 2. Both Google and OpenAI are encountering formidable competition from startups operating in both closed and open source domains. Inflection AI now stands among the elite startups engaged in the development of potent AI technologies. Okay, the numbers are good and everything, but why does the company think I will use this chatbot? Well, because it is tailored for diverse applications, emphasizing personalized support and intelligent conversation. Its key functionalities span emotional support, acting as a therapeutic companion for users to openly discuss thoughts and feelings, to providing information and guidance with accuracy on various topics. Furthermore, Pi excels in reasoning and problem solving, showcasing heightened cognitive abilities to comprehensively aid users in solving intricate problems. As a conversational AI, Pi engages in valuable question and answer sessions, proving to be a versatile tool for users seeking information or assistance across a broad spectrum of contexts. Now, whenever I hear this nuance of AI as an emotional support, one story starts haunting my conscience. A Belgian man died by suicide after chatting with an AI chatbot on an app called Chai, according to a report by Belgian outlet La Libra. The app's chatbot encouraged the user to kill himself, according to statements by the man's widow and chat logs she supplied to the outlet. The man, referred to as Pierre, became increasingly pessimistic about the effects of global warming and became eco-conscious, which is a heightened form of worry surrounding environmental issues. After becoming more isolated from family and friends, he used Chai for six weeks as a way to escape his feelings of loneliness and and anxiety. The incident raises the issue of how businesses and governments can better regulate and mitigate the risks of AI, especially when it comes to mental health. Coming back to the topic, the makers of Pi make a claim that Pi has a built-in conscience. Its developers made sure that it was programmed with safety, empathy, and compliance so that it can't condone or engage in harmful or unethical behavior. Since the release of Inflection 2, Pi's popularity has skyrocketed. It has over 10 million active users and more than 100 million conversations each month. The repeat usage rate is also over 80% since most of the initial users return to chat within a week and more than half recommend Pi to their friends and family. Users have given Pi lots of positive feedback, praising its usefulness, friendliness, and fun aspect. It's been highlighted in big media outlets like Forbes, Wired, and The Verge as one of the most innovative and impressive chatbots out there. But is that it? No. The company has a bigger vision for the future. Inflection AI and Pi have ambitious plans for the future. They have expressed their intention to create models that are 10 times larger than their current Inflection 2 model within the next year, boasting trillions of parameters. Not only that, they also aim to enhance Pi by incorporating new features such as audio and video capabilities while venturing into diverse sectors like gaming, education, and health. Moreover, their focus includes making Pi more affordable and accessible to a broader audience. These advancements are poised to significantly impact both the AI industry and society, offering the promise of innovative tools that can enhance various aspects of our lives. One thing remains consistent though, and that is the importance of approaching these developments with caution and responsibility, ensuring alignment with our values and the prevention of any potential harm. Addressing challenges such as ethical and legal considerations is paramount necessitating collaborative efforts to ensure the safety and responsible usage of these evolving AI models. Let me know what you think about this chatbot in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to Inavella for more blues from the world of AI. I have made another video discussing Project QSTAR, which was an AI dubbed as a creature by its own creator. Was this project the reason why Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI? Click on the video link popping up to find out.